Oh, hi. Welcome back. You look great. And guess what? You made it just in time. Today is the big day. And what day is that, might you ask? It's the day that I finally reveal my portfolio. Yeah. I have been working at the Milan Art Institute Mastery Program online for the past year. And at the end of that program, you create a portfolio of about 20 to 30 pieces. And I have finally completed mine and I'm ready to share it with you guys. So exciting. Also, I just wanna say, I kind of feel like Vanna White in this skirt and this outfit along my board. You know Vanna White, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm giving Vanna White vibes, just saying. As you can see, these are 10 of the pieces that I made so far. Ta-da! It's so cool to see them all together up like this on the wall on my easel. This took time, guys. This took me probably three or four months to complete, and I couldn't be more proud to share it with you guys today. And I'm going to go through all of these pieces and tell you the meaning behind them, why I created them, the inspiration, and hopefully inspire you a little bit along the way. Okay, so here's the thing. I absolutely love, as you can probably tell, I absolutely love using vibrant colors and tons of texture in my artwork. It means so much to me to be able to create paintings with vibrant colors. It just wouldn't be the same for me if I wasn't using vibrant colors. And I never knew I'd be a texture girl, but I absolutely love texture in my paintings. I cannot go without it. <laughs> And as you've noticed in some of my other videos, I love to create texture with tissue paper and modeling paste and stencils and anything I can get my hands on really to create some fun texture in the background. I don't know, something about it just makes me feel alive. It lights up my creative soul <laughs> and I wouldn't be the artist that I am if I didn't use vibrant colors and tons of texture. And I think that's what makes my style so cohesive and it has the same aesthetic because I'm using vibrant colors and texture in every single one of these paintings. And the thing is, I've always loved drawing and painting women's faces. Ever since I was a teenager and even probably before that, I've been drawing women's faces. Something about the woman's face is just so intriguing to me. I think women are absolutely so beautiful and <laughs> For, you know, half of my time at Milan, I avoided painting and drawing women because I just felt like it was so cliche. I feel like everyone paints women's faces, am I right? Like, so many artists paint women's faces. And I was like, oh, I can't just do what everyone else is doing. But I just kept getting drawn to these reference photos of women's faces. I couldn't stop myself. I just am so fascinated by them and I think they're so beautiful. And I was specifically drawn to these women that are looking directly at you. I loved the strength and the fierceness and the confidence with which these women were looking at me, you know, in these photos. So I couldn't help myself. They were my muse and I had to paint them <laughs> as I was creating the reference photos. And if you haven't seen it, I did create a whole video about how I create reference photos for my paintings. Check that out in this link. Anyway, as I was creating reference photos for the series, it had to be women looking right at you. and. Somehow, I just felt like they needed a strong, fierce cat to go with them. I don't know why, when, where, how. Probably found inspiration from Ellie Milan. She does a lot of women with animals. But for me specifically, I wanted them to be with the big, strong lions, jaguars, leopards. I just, something about them just makes me feel alive and confident and strong. And that's what these paintings mean to me. I, when I look at them, I feel strong, I feel empowered. And I hope that when my viewers or collectors look at these paintings, they feel the same way. I hope that my paintings can inspire women, especially to stand in their strength, stand in their authenticity, be unapologetically bold in their, you know, genuine being, just feeling confident and free to be themselves. I think for so long, women weren't allowed to take up space or to say what they needed to say. And I think we're finally entering an era where women can stand in their power and speak their truth fully, completely, unapologetically. We're not saying, I'm sorry anymore. We are staring right at you. You can't help but see us. And we are looking right at you, strong, bold, confident, unafraid to be ourselves, unafraid to speak up for what we need. 
And I hope that these paintings really, really embody that message because it's a message that's really meaningful for me because I used to be full of self-doubt and fear. I used to feel like I had to play really small and not take up space and I'm not that person anymore. I am a woman who wants to show up confidently, unapologetically, free to be myself. And when I look at these paintings, they make me feel that way. They remind me of my own strength and my own power, my own inner light that deserves to be shined into the world. And I hope that they make you feel the same way. And if you know anything about the mastery program, you know that you have to do a week long production period where you create eight to 10 pieces in one week. And I decided to paint a bunch of tigers. If you haven't seen that video, I did paint nine tigers in one week and definitely check that out because that was an experience <laughs> to try to paint that many paintings in one week. But here they are if you haven't seen them. And you might be wondering like, why did you decide to choose tigers? And the reason is, first of all, tigers are so beautiful, so majestic. I just obviously have such an affinity for big, strong cats. And I have had this book called Animal Speak Pocket Guide by Ted Andrews basically my entire life. Like I grew up on this book and it might sound woo woo or cheesy or whatever, but this is a guide that helps you understand any sort of animal symbols that come into your life. Um, so let's say you see uh, a bear or you keep seeing a bunch of hawks everywhere. You can look up that animal in this book and it'll tell you kind of what it means and like what the universe is trying to guide you towards. So I wanted to read the tiger meaning from this book because I think it's really, you know, congruent with what I've been trying to convey in my work. And tiger represents power. It says, assert your power in new endeavors. New adventures will bring opportunity to express power and passion. And that's so meaningful to me because I am on this new adventure of becoming a full-time artist, of uh, really taking my painting seriously and showing up for myself every week <laughs> for uh, so much time and so much work. And I am taking my new endeavors, my passion seriously, and I'm hoping it'll lead me towards new adventures, new pursuits, new opportunities. And I wanted to share that with you because it's very, very meaningful to me. And that's why I created so many tigers, <laughs> not only in my bigger pieces, but also in my production week. And as you can tell, a lot of my pieces have that universal, spiritual, elemental type of energy to it as well. There's some full moons in a lot of my pieces. There are stars in a lot of my pieces. And I think it just really ties into this universal interconnectedness we all have within ourselves and to each other and to everything around us. And I think once we can tap into that power that's within ourselves and within everything around us, we really can step into our own authentic being, our own power, because we know that we're not just a isolated individual. We are actually a part of something so much bigger than ourselves. And that's why I include a lot of stars and galaxy elements in my paintings, because I want that ethereal, mystical feeling to hopefully come through my paintings and then hopefully spark something in you. And like I said, I know it's really cheesy, but being an artist is kind of cheesy, <laughs> right? Because I'm displaying so much of what matters to me in these physical paintings. And I don't know, there's something so magical about painting itself because you can create something entirely new out of a blank canvas. Like it's always been such a magical experience for me to approach a blank canvas, which is scary in itself, but then to create something that wasn't there before is such a cool experience. So if you haven't painted in a long time or created something in a long time, I highly encourage that you do that <laughs> because it feels really, really good. So that is my inspiration behind these paintings. I hope that they make you feel the same way or maybe spark something in you that you haven't felt in a long time. And I hope that that fire grows inside of you. And yeah, I know it sounds cheesy, but it's, what I want to share as an artist and as a person with my life's work is I want to help people feel powerful and 
unafraid to be themselves and speak up for what they need and what for what they want and use their voice in such a meaningful way. So I hope you enjoyed looking at my portfolio and hearing about all of my inspirations behind this series. If you're interested in buying any of these pieces or prints of these pieces, definitely go check out my website. I have all my originals for sale on there and prints. And I'm so excited to have my website up for you all to see. And like I said, they're for sale if you want one. Um, they're really magical to look at in person. And like I said, they really do spark something magical, a joy to look at them. I keep looking over there because they're on my easel still. And I'm so, so proud and excited to share them with the world. And I hope you can find a little bit of magic in them <coughs> as well. Charles? <coughs> And that's my cue. Bye, guys. <laughs>